Uh, before we conclude, let me uh, try to summarize the discussion with the help of the Secretariat. This roundtable drew attention to the technological and digital divides that affect persons with disabilities. The divide between persons with and without disabilities and the divide between developed and developing countries. The many examples we heard from our panelists and participants made it clear persons with disabilities have lower access to technology. Technology is not always accessible to them and they do not always have access to the assistive technology they need for independent living and inclusion in society. Women with disabilities have even lower access. Compounding this divide is the technological and digital divide between developing and developed countries. The technology as well as the electricity and internet needed to operate the technology are not always reliable reliable and not always available in developing countries. And for many persons with disabilities in developing countries, they are not affordable. Many panelists and participants call for enhanced international cooperation to address these challenges, including by promoting technology transfer, partnerships with the private sector, capacity building, and local production of technology in developing countries. This would also help bring down the costs and make technology more affordable in these countries. Assigning budgets to assistive technology was also mentioned as a crucial step to promote access to this technology. This roundtable also stressed the need to use the principles of universal design in technology and to involve persons with disabilities in the production of persons with disabilities, both by participating as expert scientists and software developers, as well as by providing feedback as users of these systems. And this roundtable called for regulations for technology and artificial intelligence to regulate accessibility requirements, to ensure the protection of personal information of persons with disabilities, and to eliminate discrimination and abuse. Moreover, the roundtable also called for investing in digital literacy of persons with disabilities. It was encouraging to hear about flagship innovations, such as digital cards to support access to essential services for persons with disabilities, the provision of early warnings to persons with disabilities in various accessible formats, such as SMS, sign language, and vibration warnings, and technological tools to support the education of indigenous persons with disabilities. Thank you all for sharing these and other concrete solutions. These types of initiatives are key to promote technology innovations and transfer for an inclusive future. On behalf of Dr. Mare, my fellow co-chair, I would like to thank all of our distinguished panelists of this roundtable and all delegates and participants from civil society and the United Nations system for your valuable contributions that enrich the discussion of our roundtable on the urgent issue of international cooperation to promote technology innovations and transfer for an inclusive future. I wish to acknowledge with sincere thanks the support and services provided by the Secretariat, notably UNDESA, and all of the interpreters card service providers, and sign language interpreters, among many others who have worked tirelessly to deliver this successful meeting. Thank you all for your work and contributions. I would also like to remind all speakers to consider sending their statements to estatements at un.org for posting in the UN Journal no later than two hours after delivery, if you wish to do so. We will next convene at 3 p.m. with the general debate and roundtable two. With this, roundtable one is now formally concluded and I declare the meeting closed. I wish you all a good afternoon.